This evening, we have a special story of two sisters who are about to become even closer than ever. And in this case, and they'll never really be apart. One has leukemia, the other has the bone marrow that should save her. WRL's Brian Mims met them today and joins us now live from the UNC Children's Hospital with their story. Brian? Sarah Jernigan comes here to Chapel Hill every week for chemotherapy and other treatments. She was here today, cancer, it is grueling, but it is not about to steal the joy from two sisters who are an inseparable match. <laughs> ah, teenagers. Looks conscious teenagers. How do I look, y'all? One word answer, teenagers. Though sometimes, what was that like for you to hear that news? Heartbreaking. One word is worth a thousand. And one needs no stethoscope to hear the heart of 13-year-old Savannah Jernigan. Love runs through the very marrow of her bones. Just what big sister needs. What did you think? That I was going to do it. And why were you so determined to do it? Why did you know you were going to do it? Because she's my sister and I would want to save her life. Sarah Jernigan is 17. In March, she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Mom, Sandy Thornton, says she had been a healthy teenager. It hit us like a rock. I mean, we, she had a sore throat, and the next thing we know, we're in the hospital for five weeks. And What Sarah needs now is a bone marrow transplant. She's a pepper. And little sis is the perfect match. I got really excited because if not, I would have had to wait years to find a bone marrow donor. And she said... I have to save her life. She said, I would do it over and over and over and over again. In the last three months, mom and her girls have had to go from Mount Olive to Chapel Hill over and over again. Sarah couldn't go back to school. I asked her if this sickness has made her angry, sad. Sometimes, but God, you know, he just has a plan for everything. What do you think God's plan is for you? I think he's really going to let me become a nurse. Sarah's my strength. When I get upset and I cry, she rubs my back and tells me, it's okay, Mom, we're going to get through it. God's got a plan. Ah, uh, teenage sisters. I love her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's just my best friend. Aren't they just the perfect match? <clears throat> For Sarah, it's back home to Mount Olive tomorrow, but back here to Chapel Hill on Monday. The transplant surgery is scheduled for July 16th and Sarah will have a long road to recovery after that. She'll spend a hundred days at the Ronald McDonald House, but after that, it's off to the beach. <laughs> ah, teenagers. Oh, Deborah. I just absolutely love that story. Thank you, Brian, for sharing that live from Chapel mm -hmm. Hill.